You need to work on your skills, bro. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How's it going? Everybody all right? Big up! Awesome, awesome. I'll introduce myself first. Uh, that's right, my name is uh, T-Bone, and I know what you're thinking. That's a really nice Muslim name. <laughs> the problem is my real name is not fit for show business. My real name is Sayyid Tabarak Heather Rusby. That's right. Yeah. Hard to find me on Instagram. It's like my father ate a bunch of Scrabble tiles and then just shat my fucking name out. And like, let's go and forget the body. But you guys are great, man. Great audience. You know, you know what I really love? You know what this is? Uh, it's people who don't give a fuck. Right? People who don't give a fuck, right? And I saw two people today who did not give a fuck, right? It's this couple in the front row right here. And I'll tell you why. I was sitting behind them, right? They're in the front row. There's no chairs in front of them, right? At a comedy show. And you know what they're doing? They ordered a three-course meal. There were fucking shrinks. There were two burgers. You had to eat everything with a knife and fork, and this motherfucker's like, yes, I am doing it. How the fuck did you manage to eat those shrimps, you nasty ass motherfucker? Because there was no forks in that shit. Damn. And he's right, you do look like a pedophile. <laughs> That's the easiest thing, just call anybody a pedophile you love. So yeah, multicultural crowd in the audience tonight. Uh, do we have... Uh, any uh, English people in the house that English people? Yeah. Woo! Sir, did you know about tonight or did you just wander in by accident? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Oh, you knew about it. Great, because the last time you went somewhere, it took us 200 years to get rid of your fucking house. Irish people in the house tonight, it was Connor, Connor was there, Irish people in the house. You know what, I love the Irish, it's true. I do not make fun of the Irish, I think they've suffered enough, genetically. <laughs> Just look at how white that motherfucker is, dude. You can hold his hand up against the sun and fry an ant. <laughs> Don't you wish you could tan like us? Like, we tan if the TV is too bright. <laughs> So we're definitely better at tanning than the Irish. <laughs> Actually, we're better at the Irish uh, for one more thing, by the way. Ask me what? 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 Kicking the English out of our country. <laughs> <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, do we have any Americans in the house? <laughs> All right. America, greatest country in the world. Greatest country in the world. Seriously. I wanted to be American so bad, I got diabetes. <laughs> And then I shot a school kid. <laughs> no, but by the way, by the way, jokes aside, you guys, you guys know, right? So, um, again, on all seriousness and jokes aside, uh, there was this um, mass shooting in, uh, at the Walmart in Texas, and 20 people, 20 innocent people lost their lives. 20 innocent people. And what I just want to say to uh, Americans is, don't worry, you will one day feel safe. As soon as the schools open up, just, yeah, everything happens. <laughs> All right, where my Indians at? Come on, boy. Big All right, fuck you, I'm from Pakistan. Oh, I'm not Indians, man, no, no. Indians are my homies, Indians are my homies. But you know, you know what I love the best, most about Indians, right? Is how fucking racist they are. Do you, do you, Indians, do you, do you agree that you guys are fucking racist? And I'll tell you what the problem is, you know? The problem is fair and lovely. Do you know what fair and lovely is? I'll tell you what fair and lovely is. Fair and lovely is an industrial strength skin whitening cream designed to turn Mahir into Liz. Okay? Commercials, it's not even fucking funny. And then this, I'm not even making this shit up, right? So this commercial opens up on this guy, he's kind of dark. Not really that dark, they just turn the brightness down on the screen. And 
his clothes are shit. He's not doing well at work. <laughs> Women look at him and say, fuck that guy. <laughs> but the moment, the moment he puts that cream on his face, they turn the brightness up on the screen. His clothes become nice. <laughs> Suddenly he's CEO. <laughs> All the women look at him and say, mm, I want to suck his dick. <laughs> but what the women don't realize is he's only putting that shit on his face. <laughs> Brad Pitt up here, Morgan Freeman down there. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I love Morgan Freeman. And by that I mean my dick. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna test some new material out and I'm gonna uh, play a bit of Russian roulette, so I don't know what's gonna come up real quick, so I'm just gonna do this. Ah, masturbation. <laughs> you know who I envy? I envy women who masturbate. Right, because when they do it, it means something. Right? Like a woman will come home from work after a couple of weeks and she'd be like, mm. Today I'm feeling a bit tense. <laughs> then she looks at her husband and says, mm, fuck that guy. <laughs> right? And when she does it, it's fucking beautiful, right? There's rose petals, there's bath salts, there's KG in the fucking background. It means something. And why do guys masturbate? I read the word prostitute. <laughs> I don't have one yes, more? Yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Yes. The lady with the pedophile, yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna end with this, right? So, where are Arabs at? Arabs in the house, Arabs in the house. I'll tell you, I love Arabs, dude. I've been here since 1992. I love Arabs. Uh, and you know who I think the coolest Arabs are? I think the Lebanese are the coolest Arabs. <laughs> really, it's true, man. Because I think the Lebanese are just heavily retouched product shots for all Arabs. <laughs> right? They think Arabs look good. I'll give you an example. You know when you see a McDonald's burger in the newspaper? That burger's perfect, right? That burger's Lebanese. <laughs> it has a nose job, six pack, Botox in its ass. It's like, Ethan, have you been here? <laughs> but then when you get the actual burger in your hand, you're like, what the fuck is this shit? That burger is Egyptian. 